Hello, dancers, and welcome to day 28 of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. Teacher Joel here talking to you today about the mysterious standing foot. Many of you have learned or heard or seen people talk about use your standing foot. Everything comes from your standing foot. And let's just go over one simple yet so important exercise that you can do to increase your awareness and therefore your coordination and therefore your usage of standing foot action. This action, by the way, comes directly to you from Teacher Joel, but taught to him by a super duper teacher that Claire and I used to go to many, many times when we were competing. His name is Hans Laxom. He's a brilliant, brilliant ballroom dancer, a brilliant teacher and coach, a genius when it comes to mechanical systems and coordination. And we learned this exercise from, from him way back when we visited Denmark and did some training with him in Denmark, in England, and wherever else we uh, cross paths, paths with him. So thanks very much. This one goes out to Hans Laxom from Denmark. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to use our hands to remind ourselves which foot we are standing on. It seems quite simple here as Teacher Joel walks on the spot, but as we start to combine different movements through heel turns or through swing and sways, through quick chasses, it does get a little bit more challenging. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this simple exercise of tapping our leg to remind us which foot we're on. So just like what I did just now, first phase of this exercise is just to stand on one foot. Right now I'm standing on my right foot. Practice tapping my thigh or not my thigh. Practice tapping your thigh. We got to keep our social distancing, right? Practice tapping your thigh and then a switch feet and then switch hand as well with your tap. Do this a few times just to coordinate yourself on the spot. What we're going to do now is we're going to progress to sideways actions. Here I'm standing on my right foot. If you're watching this video and you're actually standing up and following along, that would be awesome. So go ahead, stand up. Good. Okay, you should be probably standing on your left foot because of this whole video thing. Um, start tapping your left as you're going to side. Now you transfer weight and there we have it. We're now transferring onto the other foot. Tap, 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 sliding across, transfer weight, and then start tapping. Now, as we become more specific, more detailed about this, we want to make sure that we're not just going to go tap, 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 and then wait, and then tap, tap, tap. That would be too much of a gap between our awareness of when we transferred weight. As we're doing this, we want to make sure, and I'm going to transfer now to a forwards walk, that the transfer of weight and the transfer of clapping is very, very coordinated. It is instantly recognized with the hands. If I'm going forwards again, maybe I'll do it with this hand. Now, as I go through my middle balance, I already switch feet. So practice it not only sideways, but forwards and backwards as well. Once you are very clear about that, we're going to raise the level one more time. And that has to do again with the instant that we switch from one foot to the other foot. So here I am going to do my sideways action. I'm tapping my right. As I go through my middle balance or what we call our split weight, I'm going to have one double tap. So my right hand and my left hand at the same time are recognizing we are switching and now I continue tapping my left leg. I'm going to transfer to the other side. So it's my left, 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 double, and then going through. If I demonstrate this now going forwards, right leg, double, and then left left leg, double right. Yeah. So the transition becomes very, very specific. At one moment in time, I'm tapping both to say, yes, I'm transitioning and I continue with the new leg. Practice
practice this over and over, just walking forwards and backwards. What, practice it going um, from your bedroom to your living room or from the kitchen to the dining room. Practice go, okay, unless you're carrying food, of course. But practice, 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 bum, ba, da, 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 bum, ba, da, da. Yeah, over and over, get so used to it. And then transfer this into your routine. So for instance, if I'm now going to do a feather step as a lead, here I'm standing on my left foot, so left foot, slow, here's my quick, and there's my quick, yeah? If I do this, for instance, as a lady for my double reverse spin, we've did the double reverse spin many, many videos ago. Here I'm standing on my left, I'm tapping my left as I transfer, boom! Now my here's my heel turn, transfer, boom! Now I'm gonna go sideways, boom! And then cross, boom, yeah? As we get even better and better, we don't have to do it as slowly, but we can do it faster. Of course, hands might feel a little tingly, thighs might get a little bit uh, sore from all the slapping, but it is the coordination and the timing that we are trying to develop. Start easy, start slowly, think about what you're doing, repeat, 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 then progress and progress. We want to do these simple to complex. Don't jump to complex because then a lot of times we miss a lot of information and we miss the awareness that we're trying to do. All right, that's it for now. Teacher Joel saying thank you again so very much for watching this, these videos. Claire and I think a lot about what we're going to put into these. I'm in front of the camera, but here we are. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.